Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And as you guys know, I bought a MacBook Pro M4. And it's been about three months. I have been using it for all of my works, like in my shoots, in studio, and everywhere. For editing photos, videos, everything I do. So, this is my long term review of the MacBook Pro M4. Okay, so let's start with performance. In one word, this is a beast. I mean, you can throw anything at it. I mean, workloads don't throw anything at it. And it handles it with ease. I mean, we are talking here about Apple's MacBook Pro M4 chip. 10 core CPU, 10 core GPU with hardware accelerated ray tracing and 16 core neural engine. Everything runs buttery smooth. I have been editing 4K footage with multiple layers, special effects, transitions, color grading in DaVinci Resolve, and it hasn't skipped a bit. Now, one thing to mention is while editing or color grading in DaVinci, the playback is smooth. But if you apply noise reduction to a specific clip with maximum settings, it gets a little bit choppy. But without this, the playback is flawless. And not just video editing, Photoshop, I mean, I am a product photographer, so my product photos gets massive size. I mean, five, six GB of uh, PSB files and it handles everything with ease. So the performance is insane while exporting any photo, video, 4K videos or anything. It feels like just a snap of your finger. So the performance part is crazy on this MacBook. Now, let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad on the MacBook Pro. To be very honest, I am used to a mechanical keyboard from a long time on my desktop here. And from the first day, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, the keyboard. But with time, I'm getting comfortable. And also, this keyboard has nice travel distance of keys and the keys are surprisingly silent. So, I would say this is not the best keyboard you have, but it's good enough to get your job done and I don't think in laptop or in this small form factor there's any way to include any better keyboard than this. I'm not a keyboard expert but these are my thoughts on it. Now the next thing is the trackpad. I am a hardcore Windows user and teaching my mouse for a trackpad sounds ridiculous for me. But this trackpad, it's ridiculously good. It's massive, the gestures are smooth, and sometimes I prefer trackpad over a mouse while just scrolling the website, doing the day-to-day -day tasks, and things like that. But while doing minute detailed work in Photoshop or any other software, my mouse still wins over this trackpad. Okay, let's talk about the display. As a photographer and content creator, the display is one of the most crucial thing for me. And we are talking here about a 14.2 inch liquid retina XDR ProMotion display with 120Hz refresh rate and 1000 nits sustained brightness, 1600 nits peak brightness. Whether I'm working in a dimly lit studio like my workspace or I'm sitting in a cafe and working in bright daylight, the visibility of this display is top notch and the color accuracy is spot on. And the fact that you can change the color profile of the display according to your needs or work is a huge plus. Now let's talk about the speakers, which I have never thought I would mention in a long term review of a MacBook Pro. The speakers are really, really great. I mean, I don't use them for mixing professional audios, but while watching any movie or any song or any podcast running in the background, these speakers are great. Not just great, more than enough. And the rich pace and the depth of the audio is really, really great. I mean, I do travel a lot and I don't carry any speaker with me because this are more than enough. Okay, now let's talk about the battery life of the MacBook Pro M4. This is the most insane part about this Mac. Apple claims 16 hours of battery life and honestly, I would say if you are doing day-to-day -day task only, this will last longer than that. 
and if you are editing 4k files color grading or any type of heavy workload you will see the battery drop but still the battery is crazy i mean i have been to six or seven hours of continuous shoot why when i use this mac with my camera to have the tethered uh, preview and i don't even bother to carry a charger i mean i know it will last i do a lot of traveling and for a one day trip to somewhere i don't carry the charger i mean i know it will just do fine even if i do any editing or any sort of work it's just fine so uh, the battery life is crazy and when the battery drops you have a USB-C to Massive 3 charger of 70 watts which charge it up real fast so the whole battery combination of this Mac according to the raw power this Mac has is incredible i mean i am more than satisfied with the battery life and the whole battery situation so if you are going for this mac you don't have to worry about the battery now let's talk about heat management before buying this i have tested macbook airs because i was planning to buy a macbook air the macbook air m1 macbook air m2 both reviews are up on this channel one thing i have noticed while testing the macbook airs is the heat management is not that great in the macbook air so when you are putting a lot of workload in the macbook air the device gets hot sometimes even barely you can touch them so i opted for a macbook pro yes there are several other reasons but this is one of the most crucial reason for sure so the macbook pro has fans in it and when you are putting a lot of stress on the cpu gpu or the neural core if they are hits up above certain degree of temperature the fan starts to spin up takes the air and cools them down so yes if you are using just for normal use the macbook pro m4 it doesn't heat up but if you are using premiere pro with several layers of 4k footage uh, on top of them you have uh, color grade you have effects you have transition you have text layers or you are just using in the da vinci you have complex node structure the device gets hits up for normal use you would never see the fan spin up so yeah in terms of heat management it's really really great now final thoughts if you are searching for a macbook in this price point for creating content editing editing videos photos or stuff like that and portability is a need of yours then the macbook pro m4 is the best you can have in this price range but if Portability is not a priority in your term or for your work. I would say go for the Mac mini. It is just crazy value for money. So as this is my long term review of the MacBook Pro M4, I haven't focused much on the numbers, benchmarks, anything like that. The most important thing for me is how it performs in my work. And this video is solely for that to share my experience of using this laptop for about three months. And if you want to know anything specific about MacBook Pro M4, do let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to help you guys out. And this is all for today's video. See you guys in the next one. Till then, tada.